everyone. So today we're doing a little day tour to Tuscany. We're going to a couple places in the Tuscany region with walk around Florence. So I'm gonna take you guys along so you can see what this tour is all about and if it's something that you might want to try yourself when you are here in Italy. Good morning. We are walking to the train station. We're going on a day tour of Tuscany today. And it's so beautiful, and look at the Duomo. Don't call me Duomo. <laughs> we met up for our tour bright and early at the Santa Maria Novella train station in Florence. Just look for the long line of people and you're golden. After about a five minute walk, we boarded our bus for the day. The buses are very comfortable and air conditioned. This place was built by the Lords, by the wealthiest families of Siena. Now we're getting really close so you can have a look on the right order to control the biggest enemy of the city. So this place, this fort is facing Florence. And that's why the journey before was considered the border between Florence and Siena. So as soon as we pass Monte Giorni, we're not anymore under the Florentine control area. Here's some facts about Siena. It is an ancient city in Italy's Tuscany region, about 30 miles south of Florence. The two cities were big rivals during the Renaissance. Hello, I'm Rita. I'm your local guide. I'm going to show you the best of Siena. Okay, we are going to walk along the main street to the main square. The entire city is divided into 17 contrads or wards, each having its own unique mascot. Essentially, it's like 17 villages in one city. The rivalry between the wards comes to a forefront during the Palio, or the horse race, which happens once a year. But more on that later. The Francigena, you have already heard about it. Francigena means war in France. So France and the northern country uh, is just behind you, the north. So traders, pilgrims, and by the way, traveling. And was passing through Siena. Siena is home to the oldest bank in the world, Monte de Paschi di Siena. <laughs> Sorry if I said that wrong, but it was established in 1472. This is the Piazza del Campo, a shell-shaped square in the center of town where the Palio race takes place. This tower, Torre del Mangia, and sorry again if I'm butchering Italian, is the second tallest tower in Italy. Next we were taken on a short tour of the Siena Cathedral. This is one of Italy's top Gothic style cathedrals and was built by Nicola Pisano. The inlaid marble floor is one of the most ornate of its kind in Italy and it covers the whole floor of the cathedral. It is so incredibly beautiful to look at. While we were visiting, there was actually a small wedding taking place in the chapel, which was such a cool thing to get to see. I didn't get wine. It's vacation. Just finished the little tour of the church. Now we have about 30 minutes of free time. We gotta meet back up with the group. So beautiful. 
What do you think about Siena? Pretty cool. Need some beat up. Let's roll. <laughs> One track mind. Like I mentioned before, Siena is known for the Palio horse race, which had just happened. Here you see them hanging the flags for the winning horse. Nate spotted a balcony on the Siena Square where people were seated having wine, so we wandered very briefly and we found the entrance to this really cool pub that has a balcony overlooking the square. You can't beat this view, plus the spritzes were pretty cheap. Cheers! Over there? In front of that? That door right there. That's where we gotta meet them. The bus is leaving. What's that place called? Or said Bottle. I like this place. That was a really cool spot. We can get a drink there for sure. <laughs> That's the square in Siena. And it is supposedly one of the most beautiful squares in Europe. I don't know. I haven't been to many, but it's really pretty. Jeez, just swirl around. <laughs> Is it just me, or do these guys look insane? Twice a year, the exciting thing in Siena is they have a horse race around the square and it's more like a battle. Like if you're second place, that is the worst. They do whatever they want to try to unseat the winner. So they can fight each other, push each other off their horse. It's crazy. It sounds like if hockey and horse racing combined. This lunch was so delicious and we had an awesome time trying all the different local wines and getting to know more of the other people on our tour. I will say you really can drink a good amount of wine at this stop, including this dessert wine with biscotti. Your girl definitely had a lot of wine here, for sure. Well, we just had a delicious lunch and now we're gonna take a little tour of the winery. Had a lot of wine so far, but I like it. After lunch, they took us on a super brief tour of the wine cellar and the vineyard. It might have lasted about 20 minutes tops and then when we were back on the bus. You can also purchase the wines you taste at lunch to take with you and drink later. I definitely bought a couple bottles because the wines here were so, so good. Like the only people that are here are tourists, right? Absolutely. Like, are there any people that live here normally in San Gimignano? Oh, oh my god. Freaking steep. So 
steep this hill, oh my god. San Jimimiamo is a small medieval town very close to the winery where we had lunch. It has a bunch of tall towers that from a distance make it look like a city skyline. Back in the day, the rich families built these towers as a sort of flex of their power. You got this, babe. Note to self, stairs after lots of wine. Not preferable. You came that far. Look at that view. How are you? 30 minutes. You gotta make sure. Just give me a zip line, I'll be there in 30 seconds. We gotta make sure we get back to the bus on time. Because if we don't, they're leaving us. And there's literally no way to get back to Florence. Oh, coming down? Okay. Sorry. No Wow. Here's the view. If you want, you can climb one of the towers for a fantastic view of the small town and the surrounding countryside, which, of course, we did. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, one more person. Amazing. Where's the hike? <laughs> Line for this gelato. It's supposed to be like the most amazing gelato ever, and specifically the saffron flavor is supposed to be. Here we are. Don't be confused. There's only one gelateria Dondoli. You'll know by the huge line, but don't worry, it moves pretty fast. Apparently, the flavor to get here is the saffron, which is what they are known for. But I also paired it with ricotta and berries, and it was so good. And go, and don't fall. Why do you always have to twirl? I like twirling. So it's the saffron, and then I got ricotta and berries. The ricotta and berries taste to go with the saffron, and I have to agree with her. Mm. It's so good. This is so good. Mm. Hurry up. Oh my god. Switch me up. Ready? Oh, wine. All right, mother. I guess it's supposed to be this, this saffron thing and the berries. And I guess if you don't get it here, like you're crazy, crazy, because it's the best. Mm. There you go. That's delicious. That's tomorrow. I have the wine now. You can have the gelato for a second. <laughs> nope. Wine. Wait, why do I have the camera? <laughs> Are you still gonna want to be married to me when I'm fat after this trip? He didn't say anything. That's a bad sign. I heard nothing. It's a really bad sign. Last stop of the day, the Leaning Tower of Pizza. Pizza? <laughs> like the pizza is leaning or the pepperoni? I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Watch that different area, I'll tell you that. I used to live on actually one of my dreams. Pisa was our last stop. I have to say it was cool to get to see this in person, but honestly the area around it was such a tourist trap, so it was my least favorite part of the day. Some people bought tickets that included climbing to the top of the tower, so they did that while we stayed below and snapped silly photos. While I would have probably liked more time in Siena or San Gimimiamo, it was definitely cool to check this famous site off of the list. It's kind of crazy to me like how much this thing is leaning. Like I had no idea it's leaning so hard and it's still standing. <laughs> it's kind of nuts. Basically at the end of our tour here at the Leaning Tower of Pisa, um, that was a pretty fun day. I think it was a great um, way to see a lot of the Tuscany region without a lot of worry and concern. You didn't have to drive, didn't worry about the itinerary, we didn't have to really worry about anything. So I think for the money and for the amount of stuff that you get to see on the tour, it's a great value and I highly recommend it to anyone that is coming to Florence or the Tuscany region in Italy. So if you haven't already, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye!